you are looking at the front of Garden Grove High School. See the Argo head standing over Stanford Avenue there. He's a little bit lonely these days, doesn't have the usual influx of kids going in and out since last spring. And uh, sadly, uh, we got word that that'll be the case as we move into next school year. Welcome to Garden Grove High School. My name is uh, Todd Nurk. I'm the principal of Garden Grove High School, and I, I feel like we've gotten to know you a little bit over the course of these last few months. Of course, we've been uh, so many different Parent Square messages being sent out, and that's because we have just a lot of information to give you these days, and uh, that's the purpose of this video here today, uh, to talk to you a little bit about the distance learning schedule uh, that you received from me earlier. In early July, we were so excited about the prospects of coming back uh, to school in person. Uh, then, of course, by mid-July, we got the word that uh, that won't happen because of, of what's going on with the pandemic and our numbers uh, around here in Orange County. And pretty much all schools now, uh, certainly in Orange County and throughout the state, uh, are going towards distance learning as they start uh, this fall. So in just a moment, I'm gonna turn it over to my assistant principals to talk to you a little bit about the new distance learning schedule. Uh, but first, I wanna tell you that this schedule is completely different uh, than what we saw in the spring. In fact, you can throw that experience out uh, pretty much all together. At that time, we had to make a schedule uh, that was kinda of on the fly based on uh, uh, what we could put together in, in just a short amount of time. But now we've had time to develop and to put some uh, plans in place and we have a lot more structure, it's a lot more organized, and it is based on the need for live instruction. So with that, I wanna turn it over to our assistant principal, Miss Track, and she's gonna to talk to you about the structure and the expectations of live instruction. Hi guys, this is Miss Track. I'm one of your assistant principals. I would love to be with you in person, but right now with where we are, uh, we're doing the best we can with doing everything virtually. I'm here to talk a little bit more about your time in the classroom which will all be on your computer device at home or your Chromebook. This time is what we call our synchronous time. This is from 8 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. You will be taking your classes every day live, in person, with your teachers and your classmates. Each one of these periods are gonna vary by each day. So on Mondays, it's gonna be periods one, two, and three. Tuesdays, periods four, five, and six. Wednesdays, periods one through six, Thursdays, one, two, and three, and Friday, four, five, and six. This is gonna be a tough transition for everyone. So we know that there's gonna be a large learning curve for all of us, but we're all in this together. All right, so Argos, when you are in class live, we do have expectations for all of you. First, be in class on time every day. Second, treat others with respect. This includes when you speak to your teachers, when you're talking to each other in class, and when you're using the chat room. Third, participate actively in class. If you don't know something, ask a question. If you need to um, ask for clarification, you can raise your hand. But we want you to be using your brains while you're in class and being the critical thinkers that you are. And finally, you also need to take care of yourself. So when you have those breaks in between those periods, make sure you stand up, stretch, walk around your house a little bit, lay down and rest, go to another room. Whatever you can do to maintain your physical and mental well-being is going to support you even more as we continue with distance learning. All right, guys, so now we are going to be going into the administration office to talk to Mrs. Jefferson, who will be sharing some information about our Argo academic time. Hello Argos, I know Dr. Track just talked to you a little bit about your live uh, sessions. Now I'm going to talk to you a little bit about your asynchronous or our Argo academic sessions. Now after you've had three classes, you're going to be a little bit tired, you're going to be a little bit like, wow, I just did a lot of work and there's still more to come. Calm down, take a deep breath. You're going to get lunch first, so you're going to take a little bit of break, stand up, you know, stretch, do whatever you need to do and then after lunch get refocused for Argo Academics. Now, you may be asking yourself, what the heck is Argo Academics? I'm gonna answer that for you. Argo Academics is a time where you can get extra help. It's a time where a teacher may invite you 
uh, to a small group activity because they feel that you didn't understand a concept. You may not have understood a concept and you're going to email your teacher and ask for extra help during that time. It could also be a time where if a teacher has uh, assigned a project for you to do, it could be a time to work on that. If they have signed homework, it could be a time to work on your homework and get it done. It's a, a, about a two hour, two and a half hour block after lunch for you to continue working on schoolwork, but in a more focused way. Now, is it going to be every day? Yes, we do have Argo Academics every day. But not every day will you be on a Zoom with, with a teacher. It's just when those teachers invite you or when you need extra help. Otherwise, you're going to use that Argo academic time to get caught up on all this work. There's tons of stuff that, that you can do during that time. And then when Argo academics are over, then you can go back to playing your video games or doing whatever you do when uh, you're not at school and doing schoolwork. All right, so I hope I answered all your questions about Argo Academics. I hope everybody's doing good and being uh, strong and healthy out there. Have an awesome day, and we can't wait to see you on Zoom or Google Meets, or um, we'll see you in person actually next week getting your textbooks. Have an awesome day, Argos. Hey, Argos, how you doing? I'm Dr. Fulton. Uh, it's would be a lot better if we could see each other in person, but you know, this is the next best thing. Uh, I'm here to talk to you about kind of the difficulties and how to overcome those difficulties with motivation. I like our mural here, our, our, uh, our mascot is the Argonaut. And I love the story of the Argonauts because they were sailors and they were tenacious and they were given a mission, given a goal, and they never gave up. They, they went through, you know, dangerous waters and, and conditions that were difficult. Uh, and the as the story goes, they went through all the things that were difficult, life-threatening, and they held together, they supported one another, and they came through on the other side successful. And that's what we need to do. And I know we're talking about online learning. We've all had that experience uh, already in the spring, maybe not, not, uh, not the best, but what you have heard is how we've done it differently. We put things in place to make it more uh, accessible, more like school in a regular day. And I just want to let you know that this is something you absolutely can do. Make sure that you sign in every single day. Don't get into a habit of signing in late or not signing in at all. Because if you don't, I'm gonna give you a call, Dr. Trag, Ms., uh, Mrs. Jefferson. We're gonna give you a call uh, and remind you, but make sure you're logging in on time. Get in that schedule routine. It's just like school. The only difference is you're going to do it at your dining room table or at the desk in your, uh, in your bedroom or in, in the living room. But you still need to, to, to get there right on time. This is something that you can do. We're going to get together. We're going to have a lot of interactions online uh, with social media, with spirit weeks uh, to help motivate us all. This is something that you can actually do because we are Argos. Thank you to our assistant principals for uh, taking us through that. Uh, I just want to add that the live instruction that you're going to get every day is going to be very similar to what you would get in the classroom. It'll be uh, 80 minutes uh, where you're logged in, the teacher's logged in, and you're uh, going through the same kind of uh, activities that you'd be if you were here in person. So we're, we're very confident about that. And then you heard Miss Jefferson talk a little bit about the Argo academics after lunch. Uh, just to let you know that you'll get very clear directions from your three teachers that you see for live instruction in the morning. Uh, they will let you know the expectations in the afternoon. There's a variety of kind of activities. And uh, students, your day ends at 2.43 uh, when the uh, end of that block comes. And parents, you know, certainly uh, will look to you to enforce that because that's something that's an expectation uh, for an entire school day. Uh, just like any point in time in, in school, attendance is really the foundation of success. You're, you're not going to do well if you're not present and here every day. And in this case, not logged on and ready. Uh, we'll be taking attendance. It's mandatory. And, uh, you know, it sets a stage for everything. And that is certainly uh, during the morning classes and that afternoon Arco Academics time. Uh, I'll just close by letting you know that we have our uh, textbook and Chromebook distribution coming up next week. 
Uh, that'll be a big week. We'll get all that stuff out. And for Chromebooks, we're going to give a Chromebook to everybody. I would recommend you use that even if you have a device uh, of your own at home because that Chromebook is the one that's going to be used when we do come back in person. Uh, it'll be what can access our uh, uh, Wi-Fi network here, and, and that's what you will be working on. So we'll give one to every student uh, next week. All right, with that, I want to say thank you again for your support. We're going to make this happen. I think this is going to be a great year. It's going to be different, uh, but I, we're going to start off with, in, in this fashion. I think it's going to be very successful. And at the point in time when we can come back in person, we all look forward to that. Uh, we all look forward to seeing you in person. All right, thank you, everybody. Have a great day.